Welcome everybody to the new series of One Piece in 5e this time. Uh, we found a module that we are going to use to properly play in 5e. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh, I have my players with me. We have, uh, let's see, we have Alex here. Uh, Alex, would you care to give a little bit about yourself to the people? Oh, they're approaching me. Hey everyone, I'm Alex. Um, I am playing Endo Akane, a, uh, a lady. Yes, I know, a lady. Um, she is a swordsman with one arm uh, and one working eye. Ignore the fact that she is biken. Um, we don't need to talk about that. Moving on. For those of you who may remember Alex from our last game, he played Sunny, the half dwarf. Yeah, yeah this time, I am going to be the captain. <laughs> yep. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Akane? Uh, sure. Uh, aside from her missing limbs, uh, she is a taller lady. Uh, a bit of a um, more neutral attitude, uh, very thought forward despite not being all there <laughs> in the head. Um, but for the most part, she lets her skills do the talking. She is a Path of the Blade Master Barbarian. Uh, it's a special subclass um, that is uh, specifically something made from the module. For 5e D &D, or one piece she's neutral good she's playing the captain that's her background as well um but she's very large she's about 10 foot tall 10 and a half but all, yeah. all right well that's not exactly what i was looking for but it works moving on to uh sam say hi to the people sam tell them a little bit about hello. yourself hello thanks Fosso. um i'm sam um, I, I, I'm new here, I uh, wasn't here last time around, uh, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to play. I'm going to be playing, uh, Eason Grimm, Nicandro. um, he, I mean, he goes by Grimsby, he's like a knight, um, much like Alex, I'm going to ask you to ignore the fact that he's blithe, uh, <laughs> but he's a very honor-bound sort. Uh, and I'm just, I'm looking forward to play. Uh, he's going to be the first mate. He's also clearly way more puppy than Blythe, so clearly he's not Blythe. Yeah, he's a lot clearly. more puppy and, and very dorky. Uh, like, no object permanence level of idiot. Um, and just very gullible overall. Uh, he's lawful good. He, ha he has like a very honor-bound nature. Um... He isn't complete. Like he isn't like he's like pretty book smart. It's just he has very low wisdom. So yeah, he'll get lost easily. He'll like run into like closed doors, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like very aloof. Like not aloof. What's the word? <sighs> Distracted. He's the Zoro of the party. Yeah. He, he's definitely the Zoro. Yeah, uh, and he's a Cavalier Knight, which is an official class, I believe, from Xanathar's Guide. So more defensive based. You know, kind of like protecting the party, uh, that sort of deal. All right, beautiful, thank you. And last but certainly not least, uh, we have here an an an, an old face. Yeah. Uh, introduce yourself, Da. Oh, my creaking old bones in my face. Hello, I am Ta. I was in the last game along with Alex and our lovely DM Fox. I played uh, the one of the two sisters, Amazonian sisters. In this game, I am playing Rocky. He is a good-natured, silly lad who wishes to put a smile on everyone's face. He is also the adopted son of our captain here, and the proud uh, practitioner of the One Fang 
style is is that the name the his name is Dar, right, Alex? Yeah, it's the one thing. Also, more like adopted brother than son, but <laughs> Sorry, I, I meant brother, right? Brother. He He's 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 small, which means, you know, he's average height for humans should be in our world, but in one piece, you know. He's like uh he's considered small, he's five six. I think he like his eye line is at uh your character's navel, Alex. Yeah, I mean you're five six versus her ten five, so Yeah, um he's Grimsby is also like large sized, much like a con like around the same size, because minks are big. But yeah, he's uh the entertainer. He mostly he has a old guitar that he plays on. He is also the a paladin equivalent of the module we're using called a savant. His uh, subclass is... I have to look it up here. Burning Passion. Chose that because fire is cool. Don't play... Don't you play with it at home. And... The idea of it is he... He is so good-natured and so happy and good-willing that it leads into his fighting style and he is chaotic good he always put others before himself and he seems to have very little concept of his own well-being always frightening for those who care for him uh, <laughs> yeah. all right so welcome back to the world of one piece guys and for those uh those just tuning in welcome uh <laughs> we've all heard about our characters so let's uh let's dive in uh you all find yourselves in the south blue uh it is one of the more the le the less peaceful of the blues um in the world um what are you doing Uh, well, I think, uh, obviously, Rocky is probably following Akane around. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> Akane is probably looking for bars um, at, or, like, a, uh, a inn or something where she can perhaps get some mercenary work. Uh, because it, she's trying to keep, make sure that Rocky has a decent life. Uh, and besides, she's got a goal in mind and would like to start getting that under her belt. She's got some money, but she doesn't quite have enough to uh, get a ship just yet. <laughs> Alrighty, and Grimsby. What you here for? Um, I imagine Grimsby is doing something similar. He's trying to look for uh, mercenary work, so he's probably like at an inn or a tavern of some sort. Um, mostly because, you know, knowing his background, he kind of doesn't have a job anymore. So, and all he's good at is fighting. So, you know, might as well go looking around for some either you know bounty work or uh, mercenary work, whatever's available. Indeed. Which is why you all find yourselves at a at a strange island, uh, an island that looks like it was made from the ramshackle remains of shipwrecks, and uh, what materials could be scrounged together. And as you pull into port, you arrive at the pirate's market, a hive of scum and villainy to be sure. But there's a lot of opportunities for those seeking adventure and jobs and don't care if they're a little dirty. Uh, so, we'll start oh, with... That ship stunk. <laughs> we'll start with Akane and Rocky. You have just arrived on the island through whatever means 
Why don't you tell us uh, about that? So, <clears throat> securing passage on board a ship, uh, instead of using the money she's been saving up, she agreed to do work, and although she might have been met with some kind of hassle, um, uh, she quickly proved herself to be useful. Um, and al she also put Rocky to a bit of work to make sure that she was, uh, that he was still training, even when they were on board a ship. Um, and what better way to train than to do chores? <laughs> uh, of course, it is a ship probably filled with a lot of other passengers and sailors going to a, what is essentially a thieves' den. Um, so it probably didn't smell the best. Upon exiting the ship, she stretches, takes her katana on her, uh, for, uh well, she touches her katana on her hip, makes sure she has all her belongings, uh, and turns back to, uh, yell back at the ship, Come on, Rocky, it's time to go. Rocky is, uh, rubbing the sleep out of his eyes and looking around and going, and his eyes and smile just a light and he go goes wow such a great town made of complete trash i suppose some handy people built this place huh definitely hey maybe maybe whoever made this place can make a ship for us huh. wow i'm sure they've got their hands full keeping this place together but maybe we'll find someone like that first Let's go find uh, somewhere to drink. And he looks. She looks around a little bit. Maybe they'll have a board there or something, so we can earn a little extra money. Mm, I would like to. I would like to train my sword a bit. And as he crosses his head and just nods. All right. Then let's get looking, huh? Alrighty. As you two head down the main. I hesitate to call it a street. It's more like a boardwalk made of j cobbled together pieces of wood. Uh, several people call out to you from the stands, calling you to check out their wares. There's stands filled with assortment of jewelry, probably stolen plunder. It seems like this is the place where pirates come to unload their ill-gotten gains. them ill-gun gains. I'm looking at some of these places. Uh, Akane is just kind of like, uh, nothing interesting. Uh, inside she's thinking, wow, these guys all stole trash. No wonder this island looks so bad. Uh, Rocky she... is... <clears throat> Go ahead. Rocky is also looking around, but he's mostly falling after, uh, falling after her. He's, he's looking for weapons. She's, uh, absolutely looking for a bar. Uh, get a little bit of a drink. Probably look for some work. <laughs> Fair enough. And with that, we'll switch to Grimsby's introduction to the island. Grimsby, how did you arrive? As a final favor, uh, an old friend from Sutherland, his, uh, former home kingdom, uh, basically agreed to, uh, take him to the island or to the nearest island they could. Um, so he's basically like on a Viking longship headed over to the island. I see. And as the ship pulls into port, uh, the smell of, of land washes over you. It's, uh, it's not the most pleasant smell in the world, uh, being a pirate's port. Booze and alcohol... And a bit of blood waft in the air. But this is where you've come. Seeking work. Uh, reminds me of back when I used to be a pirate myself. Ugh. Ugh. He gets on. It's off the ship. Oh, thanks. He waves goodbye to his former mates. You take and... care of yourself. Goodbye. He's pretty sad. <laughs> yep. They 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 give you a 
a good wave as they get the ship underway to leave. As um, as they fade away in the horizon, he, you know, he waits until like they fade away in the horizon. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, he decides to you know head over to an inn or something. Uh, he's feeling a little bit hungry. And besides, he figures that most people hiring probably would hire at some sort of inn or tavern or, you know, what have you. Alrighty. And so as the both of you, as both of your groups uh, are heading deeper into the pirate's market, in nestled between uh, some trees in the jungle and some sheer cliffs, you spot... What appears to be a rather popular, uh, excuse me, a uh, hollowed out shipwreck. It's upside down, so it's been hollowed out and repurposed into a bar. You see people drunkenly walking, stumbling out of it, and people going in. It looks like a very busy place. Well, that looks promising, Rocky. Yeah, we'll be able to meet a lot of people there. I'm certain of that. Are there any pretty ladies that I could see from here? Oh, you're looking for wenches, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Tavern wenches. Uh, Dang. from the outside. They give me wenches, patrons. It doesn't matter if they're cute. <laughs> from the outside, uh, give me a perception check. Sure. Wow. You know what? I, I, I'll help him because seventeen. Do this. <laughs> All right, get 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 some help then. Yeah, I guess I'll roll the second time. We'll see how that goes. Two seventeen. You did nothing, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky's like, oh, no wenches. <laughs> um, yes, you do spot a couple of very pretty ladies outside. There's, it looks like a trio of. What appears to be, they it, it appears like they work at the bar, and they are there to entice customers to come in. Uh -huh. Well, it's working. <laughs> Good to know. His, Rocky pulls out his guitar and he starts playing her, uh, her, uh, her, her theme. Which is the one playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, catch song. Yeah, good song. He's playing, he's playing her catch song. That's my boy. <laughs> uh, she's just gonna kind of walk in uh, smoothly as ever, giving a bit of a a one-eyed wink to uh, <laughs> the, uh, the lady she passes by. See if any of them look interested. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Rocky, give me a performance check. Uh, and... That will determine what I need to do for my persuasion. Check. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. And... Okay. That's that's good enough. You get to make a persuasion check with advantage. Seventeen. It's good enough. Your music helped. <laughs> the good enough. One of them comes over to you. She's she's a a brunette with hazel eyes and. Lots of freckles on her face. Her skin's been very tanned by the sun, and she's wearing what's basically like a a tavern girl dress. Mm -hmm. Why, well, hello there. Can I help you? Oh, well, aren't you a little cutie? What do you recommend? Hmm. Drink-wise, that is. Well. There's not much of a selection here. We've got booze. Uh, we've got a couple different kinds of sake, if it pleases you, your palate. But we also have the Sour Blue Special, which is um, spiced rum with a, a bit of a fruit. Let's try some of that spiced rum. How about two? One for me, and if you're willing to stay and have a drink, you could have one too. Oh my, that's, I, I, I'm on the clock, Missy, but. What's a little break, huh? 
as as he's doing this, I'm I'm making I'm making a pearl in my hand and I'm trying to like ship it into her hands. You're trying to shift it into the uh, tavern girl's hands. Akane's hands, yeah. Like I'm trying to slip it into her hand. (laughs) <laughs> this is probably something we've practiced a couple times, because uh, Akane has not been a good influence on Rocky. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Not at all. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and, um, so what did you shape it as? I shape it as her. Uh, Maybe not that. <laughs> um, that's a okay. little creepy. Uh, yeah, that, I think that, she would probably true. teach you to do, like, birds or flowers or something. Mm, yeah. That's... You know what? Let's just say like one big pearl. Just okay. keep it simple. One big pearl. I mean, after all, I do tip nicely. And she hand she pulls out this big pearl. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello, welcome. We have Sorry. our fourth. Okie dokie. So Leo, you are yes. you are a long term watcher of the channel and you watched the previous series, um, but you're you're new to this one. So why don't you tell the people a little bit about yourself? Sure. So um, I I'm Leo. I do a thing. Um, <laughs> I actually run my own One Piece D and D campaign on Twitch. Uh, we do it every uh, God Monday. Uh, yeah, something like that. I'm the DM for them. Um, but I'm a long-time viewer, uh, loved the series, loved every, every bit of it, love d and I've been playing it for about 10 years? <laughs> a long time. You know, gotta get the numbers up. Yeah, those are rookie yeah. numbers in this racket. I don't know, I don't know. It <laughs> I'm 24, like I've been playing this since I was 10. 10. I'm, a, I'm 26 and I've been playing this since I was like 16 that's yeah just okay. like rookie rookie levels rookie <laughs> levels but, uh, I'm yeah. a forever DM so I'm excited to be a player and uh yeah all right um, and your anything... character is Hakai Withermore tell us a little bit about him sure 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 so uh Hakai is um a very uh a bit of an elderly dude uh he's in his 40s yeah near 50s uh he's been around the world originating from wano you know just like our great captain over there um however he's a very chill uh level-headed relaxed dude um and just just gonna be the worst pirate just the worst (laughs) all right So, as I've explained to the others, you are in the South Blue and have arrived at the Pirates Market, seeking your fortune. How did you arrive? Uh, he would have sailed the just worst-looking raft you've ever seen. It's been hobbled together out of some sort of trees, but somehow he sailed it amazingly to these shores. I see. So, just as your raft... Out of the trees... Horrible raft that's like sinking, but he's managed to get it here. Yep. So as your raft managed manages to limp its way ashore, you arrive at the pirates' market. Before you lies a ramshackle town of piers, boardwalks, and shacks that look like they were constructed from the remains of many ships. There are stalls everywhere with all sorts of knickknacks, stolen goods. And food. But, um... Yeah. Where do you go first? Uh, I guess... Head up towards, like, uh, one of the stalls. Uh, uh, somewhere with food or that. Uh, since I presume he's been sailing for a while on these seas. And packed no provisions. Because he does not think. <laughs> Very good. And as you wander your way through town and follow your nose, you arrive. Let me pull pull the screen off here. I think it's this to pull everybody over. Yep. 
Uh, you arrive at a tavern made out of the remains of a ship and built into the side of a cliff. Should we put our tokens on here? Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, got a table over here with Rocky uh, and a bar wench who she has given a pearl as a tip. Yep. So, so, also I should mention, I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, uh, Leo, but Akane is like ten and a half feet tall. Oh, damn. I should mention that now. So. <laughs> think, like, let, let's be real, that's average height in One Piece world. That is average that's height. Average, that's, yeah. yeah he's, I mean, Ezen Grimm is around that same size, but he's also like a mink. And they're, I mean, uh, yeah. I'm a human. I'm a lowly human. Yeah. Rocky's five six. I thought six, he man. was big standing at like six foot nine. <laughs> like <laughs> You're taller than Rocky. Rocky's more like five six. Ah oh, man, great. <laughs> as long as I get one. <laughs> uh uh. Uh but yeah, so uh kinda he's just flirting with this barmaid, bar wench. Yep, and it's working really well. She uh she Hell has sat yeah. she has sat down next to you, uh and is blushing. Or sharing drinks. Yep. Yeah. Um Hakai, as you arrive, you stumble into or basically at uh a large wolf man <laughs> at the entrance. Well dear god, you're you're big and Huh? Who said that? He like turns around. He can't. He's like looking like around because he can't see her. Ah, uh, uh, I get it. Big get what? predators. Big predators don't look down. The what? Who's? I, I think there's a ghost talking to me. Oh God! This is the last thing I need. I'm haunted. Down here, little man, is on my like grab him by try and grab him by the chin and pull him face down. Oh! Oh! Uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, sorry, my uh, headphones just played up, so there we go. Technical issues. Sorry, I did not hear that at all. Not to worry. Yeah. Commence uh, the I... tail waggles. <laughs> What's happening, big man? Uh, I'm looking for a job. Ah, what sort of job are you looking for? Well, I'm good at beating stuff up. I think I have just a job for you. So that's all. Uh, you, my friend, what sort of experience have you got with fighting? What sort of, what sort of things have you done? Come, oh, well. regale me with some, regale me with some stories over some drinks. You're buying. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's a thing now. All right, and as you head inside, um, and take a seat at a ta unoccupied table, um, oh, hold up before before anything else, is that a banana? That looks like a banana. <laughs> it is not a banana, though it is oddly shaped for a bar. Yeah, it is pretty oddly shaped. Pretty banana like. <laughs> it is kind of banana. I think it might be like an old canoe or like part, used to be part of it. But why is it yellow? <laughs> Coverings? Yep. Tablecloth? True, I guess. Yep. There, there's a bartender behind and a bunch of barmaids uh, walking around serving drinks. Um. This one in particular is trying to excuse herself <laughs> as she goes and um, as she goes and tries to help other customers. Um, I'm really sorry, but um, I, I'm flattered. It's it's just I have to get back to to work now. Well, when you get up, why don't you pay me a visit? Uh, I'll be here all day. <laughs> Another wink. <laughs> With the one eye. <laughs> and she runs away. 
really flustered. Um, there's just idle chatter. Rocky is just... Rocky's like elbowing, uh, elbowing her. Uh, he puts Akane his... Akane. and smiling. Akane ruffles his hair. That's how you do it, little man. Was that a lesson for the lad? A little bit. <laughs> oh my god. But not a charge. <laughs> All right. Well, even though you're halfway across the room from them, you can probably overhear some of what uh, some of Grimsby's and Hakai's conversation. Well, she's definitely keeping an eye out. Or sorry, poor choice of words. Uh, an ear out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, for jobs and the like. Uh, so once again, tell me what sort of, uh, experience you got. Um, I might have a job specifically suited for your talents. Hmm, well, you see, it all began, well, how do I start? I was a pit fighter for a while, as a slave. John, you're in! Oh, okay. <laughs> All I needed to hear, pit fights, that's that's how you get your start. It's great. Oh, I mean, great if way. it helps, I was also the house coral for a king. Oh, man. That sounds intense. I don't know what that is, but it sounds intense. You sound but overqualified. Is, You're in. Is, you sound way too overqualified. It's good to meet you, Carl. Um, his hand to shake. My name is actually Isengrim, but... Ah, I thought because we were in a house I have to call you Carl. No, I mean, what's your name? My name... My name's Hakai. Well, well met Hakai. Um, what is thou's job? Well, very simple. Oh, very simple, Grim. I need to... Oh, I'm looking for some pirates. Uh, I worked for some pirates at one point. So you so you got uh, some experience in the pirating life? I was a cabin boy, yes. Ah. Do you do anything else? <laughs> like, I don't think a cabin ah, boy... Ah, you're underqualified! <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're I mean, in! <laughs> I mean, yes, like, I mean, that was back when I was a, a kid, but eventually I moved to pit fighting and then being a king's bodyguard, I mean. Uh, they, well, I guess that as a kid, oh, Jesus, that's one big lady. Yes, a gigantic shadow falls over you as a gigantic lady comes and stands behind you. I mean, she, she, takes the chair, she takes the chair right beside, um... Right beside you, actually. Uh, and kind of turns it around, you know, Captain America style. <laughs> Seems a normal size to me. She gives uh, a yeah, smile to you. Yeah, freak recognizes freak. Uh, go on, <laughs> don't let me interrupt. In the background, oh. Roxy gets a chair and start uh, <laughs> put his feet on and just start playing the ballad of uh, Anaki. Well, very simply, Just I'm looking a for a small... Sorry, uh, oh god, can't... Akane? Akane. The Akane, Ballad yeah. of Anaki! A Ballad Anaki. of Akane. He completely misspelt it in the ballad. <laughs> in the ballad. <laughs> he starts playing it I mean... backwards because he's trying to play the Song of Time backwards. I mean, that would be Rocky. That would totally be Rocky. <laughs> Well, I'm looking, I'm looking for a pirate crew. You see, I'm uh, there's a, there's a little mission outside ways. I'm I'm essentially putting together a small crew to, well, I'll tell you about it when oh after you buy me a drink, well, and food. Don't forget the food. I, I don't worry, I'll. I'll take care of it. Um, get, man. Just, get over here. I, I, the man needs food and drink. Oh, oh, why don't I, you speak to them ladies that way? Oh, waitress, yeah. can we get some food over here? 
One of them comes over. (laughs) One of them comes over to take your order. What you want, sweetheart? I'll I'll take as much meat as you've got. I will take a lot of beer. And what time do you get off? None of ya. <laughs> you start hearing uh, uh, this young man, man over here. Because I have verses. I have a job for you. <laughs> How would you like to be a pirate? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm already a pirate, sir. Most of the town oh, is. Oh, well, you're overqualified. I belong to a different crew, sir. I think you'll find. I'm, I'm sure that. Oh, she's got this. <laughs> this, uh. <laughs> This job of yours, uh, young man. Oh, sorry, old man. Wow, that's, uh, that's demeaning. <laughs> you wouldn't talk. Uh, this job of yours, I assume it's paid, right? Of course. Lots of, oh, lots of money involved. Why How do you think I'm talk? making you buy me drinks? <laughs> He's got, uh, he does have a point. Wow. Now, if I... Uh, if I go swinging around how much money I'm throwing out, I'm going to get everyone in this bar coming at me. Yeah, yeah, that does make sense. See, okay. the, big, the big guy gets it. <laughs> well, let's just say that it's a substantial amount then. And you're That's looking right. for combatants? Yes. Um, I'm looking for a, a tight-knit group that could function as a crew. Well, in order to take down a very vastly superior enemy. Vastly superior is just my type. I, I think you'll find me and my companion over there. More than enough. If this gentleman here, big fella, wants to join us, well, more the merrier, but I don't think we'll need any more than that. And that young lady, well, she's just a little too pretty to be getting all messed up. Listen here, I got to the man first. Don't go <laughs> telling me that I have to skedaddle, all right? I you're didn't the one say who's going you to had join. a skedaddle. I said no, you no, join you're us. saying that you were more than enough, all right? Don't I feel like the bell of the ball? <laughs> uh, as you're talking, two women come out, one holding all of the drinks that she can possibly carry, and one holding just the largest platter of meat you've ever seen in your lives. All right, what are you guys getting? They both slam it down on the table. Here's your order, sir. Are you two identical? You look identical. We're sisters. That might just be me, though. I'm I'm uh, sort of face blind. Yeah, we're we're triplets. (laughs) As Akai reaches for some meat, uh, Akana's going to grab some first, twirl it around in her hand, and take a big chunk out of it. Uh, put her feet on the uh, on a chair next to her. Well, I mean, more the merrier, right, Wolfman? I suppose. And besides, I ain't trying to take nobody's job, but these ladies over here looking like they are happy with the jobs they've got. Oh, uh, fair enough. So what's with the little oh, uh, what's with the little man over there? Ah, well that's Rocky. He's my little brother. Anything happens to him? Well, you won't knock the answer that I'll give you. Her guy is like staring at him, staring at you, trying to find the familiar <laughs> resemblance. Adopted. As, as Rocky <laughs> singing his heart out. Yeah, you see, like, he's singing the things that he's wrote, written down in the chat. Just to... <laughs> What is that? <laughs> she cut a mountain in one swing. She doesn't fear anything. She has one arm, but that's twice enough. She punched a man with her foot once. A thousand oh, no. men couldn't How match she... her once. She punched a person with a foot. <laughs> the foot thing that's sense. called a kick, honey. <laughs> I like. Uh... Is he just trying to run? <laughs> I like how Hakai is like trying to find the family resemblance. Meanwhile, Isengrim is like, oh, no, I don't really can't tell the difference between most humans. <laughs> wow! Wow! Racism. <laughs> <laughs> Although these two probably do look kind of alike, more more yeah, similar than from... this one because we're both from Wano. <laughs> yeah. Which I love that the two people from Wano speak in freaking southern accents. <laughs> well, there's a specific reason why Endo does it. <laughs> 
Yeah, same with a guy. Exactly, they do it on purpose. They do it, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I've got... Uh, at the moment, I'm still in the means of procuring a ship, but... Uh, if, uh, if you are willing to accept this job, I think this calls for celebration, then. Well, wa waitresses, keep those drinks coming. And perhaps we can get you a little, uh, something extra on the top. Uh, and as she says, holding up a couple more pearls that, uh, Rocky's already made in the past. <laughs> as a tip, you know? They seem very enthused by the promise of treasure, and uh, ensure, assure you that drinks will be on their way all night. Rocky's gonna Fantastic. move up to the table, put the chair back, move up, move up to I the table. I love how she's basically paying in pearls, even though she knows she's going to need cold, hard, berry, belly, however you want to say it, uh, to buy a ship. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> She's basically trying not to spend her actual ferry saving, saving it for the ship. But she's still trying to woo people with oh, money. Well, of course she is. Mostly, you know, just... Money makes the wealth. Alright, so for all of you who are celebrating tonight, <laughs> give me constitution saving throws. Constitution... You can't drink alcohol, you're young. But, yeah, uh, come on, where do I come from? They drink alcohol. And no allows him like a sip, and that's enough to get him drunk. <laughs> oh no, I failed. Oh no, oh, no. <laughs> puppy can't handle his liquor. Mm -hmm. Akai, are you drinking? Well. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, of course, <laughs> yep. So. I got 15. Grimsby. Yeah. You are the happiest doggo drunk that there ever was in the entire universe. You are wagging your tail, you are flushed, and you are panting happily. <laughs> yeah. You are just a happy dog right now, and you're also sleepy. <laughs> wow. He's a bit of a lightweight for his size. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have those drinks before I left. Ugh. Rocky does. It's fine. It's fine, big man. It's fine. Rocky, Rocky uh... is rosy in the face after that one cup that he was allowed to drink. Yeah, no more of that for you, youngin. <laughs> well, I uh, guess that means that as... only two people are left to continue this competition. <laughs> as oh, I didn't know we were competing. <laughs> As the... Everything's a competition. <laughs> Her eye lights a flame for a second. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Go ahead. If you're making this a competition, give me another constitution save. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. She's been spurred on by competition. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh... That's good. That's bad. <laughs> That's not great. Um, Hakai, you are starting to feel your sake. Uh, Endo, you could do this all night. <laughs> that all you got, old man? I thought you had a little more in you. You're you giving the experience it all. <laughs> when you get to my age, you'll, you'll feel it. You can you roll again. Oh. Don't take it personally. My sister is the best. <laughs> Okay. Second you, wind. <laughs> yeah, you managed to, I don't know, douse your head in some water and um, pull yourself back together, and you two are ready to go all night long. <laughs> Baby stuff. Grimsby has started to doze off at the table. Yeah, he's like he's like um, dozing off at the table, and he's like mumbling, "Come pie, come come pie." <laughs> Uh, one of the waitresses comes over as you guys are in the throes of your drinking competition. Uh, we do provide room and board if you uh, happen to need a place to sleep. Yeah, 
let's get these, uh, let's get the big man in his room, and Rocky and I will get one room ourselves. So the old man can cover his tab. Don't worry about me, sis. I don't need a room. You don't have one, though, what I tell you. I can sleep in the back alley. <laughs> we don't do that anymore, Rocky. We don't do that anymore, child. <laughs> now you're gonna accept the room with grace, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> you get in a bed tonight, and you're gonna like it. Fight me. Well. He just nods his head exactly. <laughs> well, I can I can take you back this way, you two. Um, do do you need some help, sir? Well, I think I'm quite all right. <laughs> Tries to stand up, hits his head on the fucking roof. <laughs> I mean, okay, no, he already runs. In, he already walks into like doors. Imagine now. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Drunk Gago just gonna run into the table. Yeah, she's helping you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh my God. <laughs> And you three go upstairs. I don't have an upstairs map right now. But you three goes, go upstairs and turn in for the night. Uh, Akane, Hakai, do you want to continue? Uh, I think it's about time to talk business before we move on with this drinking game. Now that the kids are asleep. So why do you say you fill me in a little more of these details? I'm not gonna risk my life for nothing, you know. You can hear me, right? Oh, he's he he dropped out for some reason. Oh. Ah, ah shoot. Ah shoot. <laughs> buying time noises. Buying time noises. <laughs> I like how Easing Green counts as a kid now. Yes, he is a child now. You're a puppy. You're gonna be a kid forever now. Yeah. How old is he? How old does he look at least? I mean, you can't really probably tell his age. Yeah, he's a dog. You know. Fair enough. Yeah. He's a doggo. But you good, Leo? You good, Leo? Leo, yeah. buddy? You okay? We can, I'm back. We can Sorry about oh. that. There you okay, are. there you are. All right. Technical difficulties. <laughs> no worries. We've been having our fair share of those. Goodness. Um, so I kind of basically said, "Let's talk business now that the kids are asleep." <laughs> All right. That sounds like uh, a good plan. Let's hear some more of those details, huh? I'm not gonna risk my life no. for nothing, you know. Well, first you get me drunk, and then start uh, skin me crush. And he falls off his chair and onto the floor. <laughs> oh, my old bones. Well, I've got many different things. Oh, ah. yeah, better. Start talking better. like you're drunk now. <laughs> um, I might be talking like drunk, but... Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> See the details. What kind of mission is this? What's uh, what's the? What are we after? Very simple. We take down a big boat. Very big boat. Not okay. far from here. When you take boat, <laughs> he's going Russian now. <laughs> and then you, you take the boat. Then you take. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Losing his act. He's so, going all over the place. You try to steal a boat then, huh? Um, no. You try steal boat. I assist in stealing boat. <laughs> uh huh. I see. You didn't plan this through very thoroughly, did you? Then we get boat and we go raid. Our, our island, we get treasure, oh my. and we get paid. This boy's trying to be a pirate at his age. I already been pirate. Just going back into the groove. 
Well. He's Jamaican now, man. <laughs> he's Jamaican, man. He's all over the place. <laughs> when he's yeah. drunk, he loses it. Man, well. that linker hit him hard. He's trying to ch he's trying to keep his accent, but he's uh, certain bits are sneaking through and, <laughs> yeah, there's, and there's ruining it. There's a reason Endo is uh, kind of keeping her cool right now, seeing as how she rolled all well. <laughs> and yep. she's uh, trying to get all the information she can get, because <laughs> she's going to kind of look him up and down. Does, does he look like he's from Wano, or at least similar to what she knows of no. Wano? No, definitely Facial not. Facial-wise, not clothing-wise. Facial-wise, yes. 100%. Um, he looks like he's... Uh, Ethnicity is definitely from Wano, but uh, clothing-wise, uh, how he styles himself, everything like that, definitely not samurai-esque. I mean, that's he, she doesn't really... Uh, well, she wears a kimono and stuff, so it's kind of samurai-esque. But, like, mm. <laughs> it's not she. It's not exactly a typical kimono. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's had some stylistic changes to it. So she doesn't quite look like she's from Wano, although she does look like she's cosplaying someone from Wano. <laughs> Not fair well, enough, but <laughs> yeah, it's the way. Yeah. yeah, no, he he has those Wano features, but he looks like he is verged very far away from the Wano culture, mm -hmm. with his well. big fur jacket and <laughs> just pants. I'm and... going to pop some tech. Yep. <laughs> You know, well, you can pop those tags. So, uh, someone like you hmm. doing all the way out here, huh? What you mean by that? Mm. She, she kind of whispers in his ear, I know where you're from. Uh, uh, oh. I know the type. Um, I know those eyes anywhere. Uh, I'm just gonna. Do you mind if I just roll a, um, intelligence roll or something here? Because yeah, he he sort of thinks you're talking that you know he was an ex-marine. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll an intelligence roll. <laughs> cool. cool. He is going to put his hand through the table and like stare at you with mad anger. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. And suddenly. Rocky is like on the step, on the the end of the steps, just watching him. Endo just gives Rocky a look, like, "Go back upstairs." <laughs> I don't know what you're getting so upset about. If you want to hide it, it's fine. But uh, we don't usually see people from Wano around here. He sits down and calms right down. <laughs> Uh, he's not smart, but that was <laughs> enough to. <laughs> he's figured out that you don't un you don't know. Um, I don't even have to roll her intelligence. She's got a seven in intelligence. She did not. <laughs> she will never know that you are Marie unless you tell her. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Uh, he sits down as he. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been to one. My god, this accent is, like, exploding in different directions every time you speak. That's, that's, the, holding, that's the hope! I'm holding back my laughter. <laughs> well, I suppose well, I could be You want me to stick to one accent, Fox? Not happening. Oh, okay. It's cool. I suppose that could be said for both of us. Why are you Irish?! <laughs> You don't have an excuse. That was not Irish. Irish. That was Irish. That was more. That was more uh, Chinese sort of. Thing. I don't know about I, that. I, I I heard German. I heard German. Everyone, Everyone hears something different. different. Okay, I'm just gonna speak normal. <laughs> I heard British. Just, just assume that it's kind of Japanese As, more. Yeah, you can you can assume that from sort of his speech. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't worry it's about it's all lost Chinese Japanese. Yeah. So, what's someone well, from Wano doing around these parts? I'm not from Wano. I'm from an island just outside the, this area. Mm -hmm. I'm 
left one on when I was a child. Hmm. Well, I don't blame you. It's not the best place to be for people like I, you and me. I have nothing there, so no worries. She looks down Ooh. a bit. Yeah, I understand that. Anyway, why don't you tell me more about this job? You want to steal a ship? Yeah. You want to be a, a marine pirate ship. again? Oh, oh, this sounds like a vendetta to me. Mm. No, just a good ship. Well. Not the vendetta, just another ship. <laughs> Not the Vendetta, just another ship. <laughs> I well, don't know what they call it, but not the Vendetta. <laughs> so, you're after this ship? What's your end goal Wait. besides being a pirate again? Does that matter? I thought you want money. <laughs> well... Money's just a means to an end for me. That's true for me as well. Well then, for now, instead of digging into each other's pasts, we'll just keep our mutual interests <clears throat> together. We won't ask too many questions unless they become relevant. And, push comes to shove, you don't abandon that kid there. I don't abandon kids. Good. With that settled, how's about one more drink, huh? All right. Constitution says. This is where she gets knocked out. <laughs> she gets especially potent liquor. <laughs> Hakai, you managed the recipe for this. <laughs> Hakai, you managed to stay awake, but um, uh, one of the the barmaids comes over and says, "I can take you to your rooms now if you like." Miss, miss. Yeah. yeah. You are way too young for me. What? <laughs> I do not want to go to your yeah. room. You're not too young for me, sweetie. <laughs> She All right. she's, half drunk, she's drunk, she doesn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you speak for me? <laughs> Alright then, I guess I you see can you're take just... her to your room. <laughs> That's fine. All yours. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, to... Just remember, all of you girls have a father. Think <laughs> of what your father would think about this. <laughs> Sir, please go why to your room. Smell like, why does it that, smell like burning trash downstairs? After that, after, after that, that, that's, that's when, when her face kind of sours a bit, and she just kind of self sobers a little, and mm -hmm. um, kind of shakes off the two waitresses and just kind of goes to her room silently. Uh, the two waitresses exchange looks and then go back to work. As you go upstairs, you see Izzy and Groom. He's kind of lost looking for the bathroom. <laughs> oh, buddy, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Alright, there, 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 there. Alright. Right. Akana's in her room now. <laughs> Alright. Rocky apparently isn't in the room. Doesn't look uh, like straight it. up, Akai doesn't buy a room. He just bunks in uh, his ingrams without telling him. He, he never the bed. A room. He, he takes the bed and his ingram sleeps yeah. on the floor. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> and wow. he will convince you tomorrow that he paid for this room. <laughs> oh my god. He, he's going below enough. He'll fall for it. Don't worry. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky, where are you? Rocky pokes his head out of a box. What have we talked about? You don't need to sleep in boxes or in holes anymore. Just sleep on the bed that was given to you. I'm too Are fucking you drunk. Sure? For this. Yes, I'm sure. Please just sleep on the bed. 
he will crawl out of the box and sleep on. Uh, I imagine there, there's two beds. Yeah, there's two beds. He or, yeah. she ordered a double room. Yeah, he'll sleep on uh his bed, curled up. Uh, I'm gonna need some water in the morning. <laughs> Alrighty, the night passes largely without incident. Um, using Grim, you do find eventually <laughs> find the bathroom. Someone was nice enough to show you the way. And you all wake up the next morning, some with a larger headache than others. Rocky is being very careful because he knows how uh, she gets after she drinks. Uh, the next morning. Rocky! Yes? Can you get one of the waitresses to get me some water? She, yes, I can. She's holding her head and then she throws like uh, something that's beside her at the wall and it kind of goes through the wall a little bit. Rocky. <laughs> Booze. Rocky calmly go, goes out the door and when he's five feet away, he just rushes downstairs to find uh, the waitress she was flirting with, the, uh, with yesterday to request for the water. Yep. Uh, she will hurry and bring some, like, a big tankard of water and follow you up the stairs as you lead her back. Uh, here you go, ma'am. You, you hit it a little hard last night, huh? This'll help. She, as she gets the water, she also takes the, the girl's hand. Well, this is this pretty sight to wake up to. <laughs> She's so smooth. <laughs> God darn it. Um, <laughs> roll of persuasion, I guess. It's the booze. <laughs> it's the booze. She smells the booze. Uh, the waitress smiles, pats your hand, gently puts it back on top of you. Let me know if she needs anything else, or right, sweetheart? Look at it, Rocky. And then leaves. Thank you. Oh, and he'll just, uh, you're be... so pretty. You lived it. She kind of falls half half heartedly on her bed. I should sober up. Uh, Akai would be down. At, would go down to the bar immediately in the morning. Uh, order another beer and just be super dad reading the paper for no reason uh, with what? like reading glasses and that on. All right. You know what's funny? Because I was going to ask for Isengrim to get a newspaper as well and read right. it. So. All right. You both read the newspaper. It seems like a bounty hunting organization has just opened up in the South Blue, uh, led by what seems to be a giant, so that's scary. That's Although, a giant, those are only, that's probably an exaggeration. It's an exaggeration. I'm a giant, technically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. probably just an exaggeration. It's just an exaggeration. Everything's fine. Uh, she comes back down after her headache finally starts going away. Rocky's at her side. Good morning. <laughs> what happened to you? Okay, okay so, so there, uh, I guess Hakai is Batman now. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> that was just a throat crack. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> He's really groggy after last night. Does, you, does your throat crack all the way to hell? Because Jesus, man. <laughs> I'm Australian. It happens. <laughs> I mean, they're not that oh, far right. away from hell to begin with, so. Yeah, right. we, we live in hell. Uh, yeah. More anyway. than hell, are y'all doing? Well, I suppose uh, perhaps drinking or not before the mission wasn't the best idea, but. Don't know what um, you're talking about as he's still downing a beer <laughs> first thing in the morning. <laughs> well, I suppose early riser then. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with the little hair of the dog. That's some pictish uh, cream, right? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> oh, so what's the job? It'll turn to to assist. <laughs> so, and she puts her. Uh, she turns around, uh, just drinking some more water straight out of the jug, basically, which is like a cup to her. <laughs> 
Um, well, I suppose I can say it out loud now that you're all awake. Looks around, making sure nobody else is. Actually, honestly, these are pirates. Why would the fuck? Why the fuck would they care? We're gonna steal the marine ship. What you what? <laughs> Sounds like a challenge to me, but I've always been up for challenges. Same here. Hmm. Interesting. I found the right people then. I mean, we needed a ship anyway to uh do what we wanted to do, right, Rocky? Yeah, exactly. We need a whole ship. And they got one, so we'll take it. Well, I mean, oh, is it I'm really sure. stealing from people who don't give a damn about us anyway? Mm. No? <laughs> as he's trying to see if that was the right answer. She kind of gives you the... I mean, I know it's stealing, but also fuck these marines kind of look. Uh, no, no. My, my final answer is no. <laughs> thievery is thievery, regardless of who you are. But I guess it doesn't matter since we're already it's a not, lawless bunch. It's not thievery. It's just procuring something. Hmm. There's more to it then. Hmm. I mean... It's at this point she puts her hand... We're um, just gonna borrow it for a little while, right? Uh, Akane rests her hand on the hilt of uh, her proportionate large sword as she's looking over at Mr. Suit over there. Does he look like either a marine or a troublemaker to pirates? He looks like a used car salesman. He's got that vibe about him. Uh, the worst. Hey, look, it's a nice jersey. And as you Don't notice you him, no, as no. you notice him, he straightens up his suit and comes waddling over to the, the lot of you. Well, well, well. Hello. I couldn't help but over here. Uh, you are seeking to endeavor to steal, uh, uh, sorry, misappropriate a uh, uh, marine ship, did you say? I think it's uh, plenty appropriate for us. Ethan Dream like leans over and kind of says, "Why is there a business goose talking to us?" A business goose. <laughs> business goose. I like that. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good description. Well, uh, uh, he is honking away right over there. Isn't he? <laughs> he's he's rubbing his hands together. Well, I, I suppose you'll need some some assistance. I heard you overheard. You don't have a ship of your own, so you know. Uh, I, I might have a ship that you could use to uh, misappropriate this marine ship. Cut the crap, what's it gonna cost? No, just, uh... <clears throat> he, he grins. Uh, I like a lady who cuts, gets straight to business. Uh, I'm gonna need you to do me a little favor. You know, once, once, your, once your job is done, um, you know... I want to insight this mo this mofo. See what the heck he's planning. Sure. Oh, no, Go ahead. Insight. I am still pretty hungover, I guess. Yep. Can I insight? Yeah, everyone can insight who has proficiency okay. in it. All oh, right. I, I mean, yeah, just go ahead and roll insight. I'm I'm not choosy. If you're suspicious, <laughs> you have no doubt in your mind that this man is an honest and legitimate businessman. Why'd you give yourself disadvantage? Uh, did I? No, Hakai. No, okay. Oh, sorry. That's just I accidentally toggled that. <laughs> uh, Endo, you sorry. gain no necessary inf new information. Hakai, uh, he is looking for trouble. He 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 does not have your best interests in heart, and he does not, uh. And, but you can't exactly Look, tell what um what he's thinking. Walk over and clumsily spill my drink all over him as I oh no. Oh. It looks like you're gonna have to leave now. What? This it's no problem really. I think it's a problem. Akane just takes her water and 
really badly pretends to uh, to trip and dump it on him. All right, I can take a hint. I can take a hint. You guys, you uh, losers will rue the day you mess with me. Rocky orders a drink. Rocky orders a drink, and when it comes to him, he just cash just casually splash it onto him. He runs out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His face turns red. <laughs> You'll regret this. I know people in this town. Ethan Green walks up to him and gives him a handkerchief. He's like, "Here, sir. I'm so sorry. My companions are very clumsy today." <laughs> uh, he just turns and leaves and storms out. Hey, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to deal with that type, Grim. Like the I mean, pirates, pirates are one thing, but salesmen. Oof, you can't trust the salesmen. Yeah. Sounds to me like you y'all dodged a bullet. Says the girl from behind the bar. Jesus, where did she come from? She turns around and uh, immediately goes into flirt mode. So, uh, <laughs> that was still that was still water, Steve. He's always looking to make a buck at, on, at the cost of others. He doesn't really care who he tramples to do it, neither. Well, it looks like you know much about this place. Seeing as we knew, you know anyone who might be able to uh, actually, get us a ship for, for cheap? <laughs> actually, least... before, before you answer that, can I ask? Stillwater Steve there said that he had a ship. Uh, do you know where he puts his ships? <laughs> She's, she smiles. Oh, well, if you're gonna steal, steal a lot of ships. So I never said I was gonna steal, steal nothing. No, of course not. If if you're looking for a still water ship, um, I could point you in the right direction. And Oh, I see. Grim, grease the woman. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's no charge, honey. Uh, our oh, captain, good. our captain has a bit of a. Mm. Oh, the pick? Yeah, we'll say we'll say that Stillwater's a done him wrong. A professional grievance. Yeah. Oh, um. Well, if I'll... we can help a pretty lady like yourself by making away with something like this, I would be happy to. Mm-hmm. Put another try. <laughs> The uh, Stillwater God Stillwater promised the captain a fancy rug from uh, Pyrocasta, uh, but uh, she she lowers her voice and leans in conspiratorially. He uh he just uh made it from the butt of a skunk. Oh my God! I can't believe you made that reference. A skunk <laughs> butt rug. Can you believe it? That I can't smelly. believe it. I believe it. <laughs> mm. So ever since then, our uh, dear old captain has been a little bit miffed with Stillwater, and well, you doing Stillwater this this service? How awful! Wouldn't... My cousin was a skunk. <laughs> she looks wow. at you. <laughs> is he really? Is he a real wolf? Did Did you teach him to talk? What? Yes. Uh, what? That, uh, he's a what we call a mink. Oh, what a mink. Okay, he doesn't look like any mink I ever seen, but I ain't one to judge. Just the kind of, it's like, well, <laughs> imagine a human. He's, I don't uh, think you would right. know. <laughs> I don't think you would know very well what a mink is. They're not widely known in the world, which is no, why she should say that he was a mink, and he said, uh, or she says, imagine a human, but really furry. That's not really. <laughs> I mean, Wano she... is pretty associated with the minks, though. In the... Yeah, that's fair. Oh, we do have like ties, so. That's fair. She just stares, and goes, hmm. Well, He's half dog, half man. His daddy got a bit, a bit rambunctious. That's not what happened. My dad isn't even a dog. <laughs> exactly. His dad's not a dog. Uh, 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 anyway. He's a giraffe. <laughs> right. Well, if you do this to Stillwater, you'll always be welcome here. And I'll put in a good word for you and for the captain. What's your captain's name? I haven't thought of one yet. 
Well, Rocky, Rocky glows in the face. He leans over the table and offers his hand for her to shake and says, Well, that's good to hear. Thanks a lot, friend. What a sweet kid. <laughs> Aww. What a, how adorable. Is he yours? That's my baby brother Rocky right there. Aww, ain't he just a peach? <laughs> she shakes your hand. But yeah, you can find uh, Stillwater's private cove uh, near back around the rocks at the back of the island. Uh, there should be the ship's a little mangy, but I heard you were looking to steal a, a better one. So, but it'll it'll get you from point A to point B at least. Well, if we just happen to accidentally run through some rocks before we get off. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the captain wouldn't be much obliged, I'm sure. And uh, I'll uh, I'll send one or two of my sisters to distract the Stillwater's people, so you'll have an easy time. Sounds like we got a deal then. She reaches her hand over, <laughs> her massive hand, <laughs> to shake hers. She will oblige oh, you. And then she'll, she'll take it and give it a gentle kiss. Of course, of course she will. <laughs> oh, what's your name? You're my friend now, so I need to know your name. <laughs> You're gonna ruin Fox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they call me Missy. But uh, my real name's Melissa, but Missy's fine too. What about your two sisters? What are their names? <laughs> Curse you, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> and then and Melissa, uh, Marissa, and no, it's <laughs> it's Missy, <laughs> Tessa, and Nessie. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. <laughs> or Jesse, let's go with Jesse for the last one. Jesse, that's a sweet mm-hmm. Missy, Jesse, and Tessa. Well, tell your sisters that uh, I'll be coming around here pretty often. You know, for drinks and the like. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> well, we best be off then. Safe, safe travels. <laughs> And she waves you off as you whips her cape and she walks out. Aw oh, man, that's epic. He's a grim walks into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and she pulls him back around to the door. Come on. <laughs> it's the epic leaving of like all of them like going out and then you sing Grim just into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Later on I imagine. Missy just stares wall. and shakes her head. It would have been a water wall. He probably just broke into the room, to be honest. Rocky, <laughs> he Rocky stood there for a second and just kept going until he made a hole. Rocky, yep. Rocky pulled out his guitar and played, and played their Astro music. Aww. Alrighty. Well. There is a cat with a thing. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Sorry. <laughs> um... I'm trying to, Fox. I can't. Who you're I not, am. You're not the cat. <laughs> As you all walk oh. outside, it's a bright, shining morning. It's pretty early. Um, the birds are, the birds are chirping. It's a pretty beautiful day. Um, you can see some stains on the ground where you presumably Stillwater's puddles <laughs> were left, but they seem to be walking off. Uh, a couple people exit the bar in front of you, but yeah, you are free to do as you please. So we're stealing the business goose's uh, ship, right? <laughs> this this is goose. He can honk all he wants. Oh man, he seemed like such a cool guy. He reminds me of my Uncle Steve. You have a bad sense of people. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know. He seemed cool too. I trust the dog. I trust the dog man's intuition. Good for you, kid. Good for you. We're gonna have to talk, have a talk sometime about intuition. 
You may not have brains, but you do have intuition. <laughs> <laughs> that All means right. I can go to college. Anyway. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Um, Missy pointed you down, down towards through through basically the small jungle. Are you headed that way now? Yep. yep. Well, here, here we go. go. All right. Oh, here we go. It's fairly deserted. Um, very. It's more of a game trail than anything else. The underbrush is really thick and lush, and sometimes you get whapped in the face with some leaves, <laughs> palm leaves. But eventually, you make it out to this very tiny cove where it looks like a ship. It resembles a ship. <laughs> Loosely. <laughs> Loosely. Uh, its sails are in more or less tatters. Uh, it looks like it can still sail, barely, but it doesn't look like it's a ship that's been taken care oh, of very well. This. I can work with this. Nice. Uh, guys, I don't see a ship. All I see is this dinky barrel-looking thing. <laughs> There's a ship. This is much better than what I sailed here on. So... You could sail this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can sail anything with oh, with a bit of brag and oh, a big old mast on it. As long well, as it's got a wheel, huck, I can sail it. Certainly glad we stumbled across you then. Uh, well, let's uh, get ready, I suppose. This is going to be a big mission, Rocky. Once we're... Uh, done with this and she <laughs> dropped out of the accent once we're done with this that we are going to be wanted you know that right rocky he just shrugs and says it's nice to be wanted i'm gonna have to teach you what that means too aren't i <laughs> anyway once we once we do this we're all in this together you know that right I mean, I got Rocky. nothing to lose, let's be real. Rocky nods his head. Not a problem for me. Well. Nothing can stop us. Let's get this started, then. I, That's not true, gonna... there's plenty that can stop us. <laughs> she, she hops into this dinky little tugboat-looking mother thing. Uh, and uh, she kind of steadies herself to make sure it's not going to just tip over <laughs> it uh it, it it is okay it's about the size of um what's the word it's the, the smallest sea of thieves boat what's that called a sloop a sloop yeah sloop. it's a sloop okay it's not bad it can, it can hold four, four people yep of varying size yep <laughs> It's a sloop big enough to hold the four of you, but not much more. <laughs> well, let's start, get this started then. And he, she starts, uh, just, uh, she looks around, dusts some stuff off, makes room for her to sit down for a moment. All right, Rocky, you know what to do, right? Out character, what is he supposed to do? Uh, so, right, uh, we... Make sure we have some supplies. We uh, hoist the sails to like quarter mast so that we have more <laughs> to go. We race anchor. Okay, so just basic uh, ship preparation. Basic okay. shape, uh, ship preparation. Preparation, yeah. Do not as it is like I sure do. And we'll start to help uh, help the ship. Of course, she's going to do some stuff uh, as well. She's not just going to sit there like a bump on a log. But... Yeah, obviously. Um, so, you're getting this underway. Uh, do any of you have water vehicle proficiency? Yes, I do. Alrighty. He's the only one, which is why he is the one sailing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You do have help, though. So, make it with advantage. Get awesome. underway. Uh it's water vehicles, uh, any particular tribute to it? Um, uh, hmm. Two ones immediately sink. 
I could see. What are you? What are you wisdom. trying to do right now? Just get it underway. Yeah. Uh, then your choice of strength or dex. I'm better at dex. All right. You can actually roll that again because you have advantage, but yeah. I did press advantage. I don't know why I didn't roll with advantage. That's that's enough though. Yeah. You you pull down the sails. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Yeah, you pull down the sails, they catch the wind, the minuscule wind, and the boat start. You, you heave the anchor, and the boat starts drifting out onto sea. It, it, I bet it's probably Akane and uh, Grim that hoists the anchor. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Grim has um, like an 18 in strength. He's a beefcake. Akane's got a 16. Yeah. I. <laughs> Alrighty, and with that, you have officially set sail, unless you hear shouting coming from behind you. Wait, did, did, did the, the girls distract them? <laughs> they did, but um, he definitely can't catch up to you at this point. He's like, wait, that's my ship! Come Is back a here! On this ship? My business news, I actually don't see a ship. I mean, I mean, we're just borrowing this barrel. It's not stealing. Oh, wow. Accidental it's not stealing. Uh Endo uh puts her she pulls down her eyelid the one good eyelid and then sticks out her tongue. <laughs> you devil woman, you'll pay for this uh, but his shouts of protest just start to fade as I can't hear you. What did you say? <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. Bye. Wow. What a nice man. That must have been shots time. of approval. Yeah, he's wishing us a good luck, I bet. Ah, oh, business goose. Yep. Look at the way he dances. Yep, his face is all red too. That must mean he's really happy. Yeah. Man, business goose. Really guy. He's either Let happy or drunk. Lending or us this drunk. barrel. Alrighty. And as you sail away, off into the morning light, you have officially begun your adventure. Congratulations, everybody. Woo! Adventure. Yeah. I don't really have much more for you today, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Yay! <laughs>